Hello, welcome back and good morning to everybody. Uh, welcome to day two of our Chikmangalur ride. Today is, uh, the time right now is at about 9 a.m. We've had a pretty good sleep. Uh, it was pretty awesome. Woke up at around 7.30 in the morning. Took a walk, packed, all set, ready to go. Uh, we're now gonna go down, have a quick breakfast. After breakfast, we're gonna move off to, I think, Mulyanagiri Peak. Uh, visit the place for a few hours, relax, take some good shots, pictures, videos for you guys. And after that, we're gonna head off to Bangalore. But then, I've got an extra day off and uh, I've decided to do something else. So, let's get to the peak, see what my mind says and then from there, let's see where the bike takes us. I will get my breakfast done and I will see you on the way. I had a pretty heavy breakfast and am now headed to the peak. We have all left our luggage at the resort itself because to go back to Bangalore we need to pass on the same way itself so it does not make sense to carry our luggage all the way to the peak. So we will pick it up on the way home. So the plan is to ride all the way to the peak, spend a few hours and uh, come back and have lunch somewhere in the city and then we are gonna head off home after that. Not sure what's going on, but Chikmangalur is filled with cops every few kilometers. It gets really annoying to stop at each and every checkpoint because we are wasting precious time. But anyways, in case you guys want to come to Chikmangalur or any other place, don't forget to get all your documents. Speak of the devil and the devil appears. I just spoke to you guys about the cops and the whole group was stopped, wasting our precious time all over again. Anyways, we have now reached the entrance of the guards where an entry fee needs to be paid. Let's go check how much needs to be paid. Sir, we are going to get the car. Huh? Are you going to get the car? Yes, I am going to get the car. Can you tell me? Yes, I am going to get the car. I am going to get the car. Correct. Yes, I am going to get the car. Same, same. Go, go, go. Push. Go, go, go. Y'all go. It took a while but we are finally done. The whole group has already been long gone so I have some catching up to do. But with views like this, I am sure I am definitely not in a hurry.
There is a huge traffic jam here and I'm not sure what the reason is. I can see vehicles piled up for almost a kilometer from here. I can't find a place where we can park our bikes and walk up to the peak. So we're just gonna turn back and head to another peak that we just passed on our way. I'll get to the other peak and then talk to you guys. They say it's the journey that matters. We got pretty late while having our lunch today. We had initially planned to leave Chikmangalur by around 1 in the afternoon, but it's already 4 pm right now. We have another 150 kilometers to Mangalore. The distance isn't a concern, it's the time that it takes to get there. The sun is gonna set anytime soon, and we have the Karmadi Ghat to get to. Riding in the night through the guards is pretty dangerous and I wouldn't recommend anyone doing it, especially if you're riding solo. The only reason I'm doing it is because I have a big group that I can rely on. Okay, so we've been riding for quite some time now and we have barely covered any distance. It says we still have another 122 kilometers to get through, so let's just push on. I'm just gonna carry on as far as I can. Alright, the sun is almost set and we can see we are losing daylight as we are yet to reach the entrance of the guards. One of the main reason for the delay is the checking of the scops. Why can't they just let us pass? We will literally stop and check twice in a span of 40 kilometers. Finally, we have reached the guard, but we have lost precious time and it's gonna get dark pretty soon. All of my gadgets, my phone, my camera are gonna die pretty soon as I'm running out of battery. So I will talk to you guys once I reach Mangalore.
Hello guys, good morning. Yesterday was pretty intense from Chikmangalur to Mangalore. We finally reached the place at around 11 pm and we were pretty hungry. Mangalore was almost shut and we thought we are not going to get any food but uh, thankfully there was one restaurant which was open and uh, the guy was kind enough to serve us some food that we can take back to the hotel. We are now headed to the Panambur beach for a quick visit and we want to get there as early as we can before the sun comes up. So let's go. So we've now reached the beach and the sun is yet to come up. It's still kind of dark and uh, I've always had this wish of riding my bike on the beach because I've never done it. So. Let's just get on the beach and I'm gonna ride it as much as I can because it's gonna be fun. The sun is up and bright and we're gonna take the coastal road and explore a few more beaches. It's really a wonderful experience to visit this place in the morning when it's not so crowded. The only crowd is of the fishermen who've just returned from the catch overnight. Well, it's been one heck of a ride so far and I have really, really enjoyed myself. I hope you have done too. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. This is me signing off for today and I will see you in the next video shortly.